Alright, so I'm going to show how to disassemble a GS75 Stealth, this is an MSI laptop. So first what you want to do is remove the 15 screws from the bottom. So just go all the way around, look for all the screws. Have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's one hidden here, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right. So make sure you get this hidden one. It's right under there. Once you do that, you can pull the case open. It's just clipped in place. You can start with the Ethernet port. So just pull it up and go around. If you can't get it, um, you can use like a prying tool or your nail. Just go all the way around, all the way around the edges. The back will be a little tough, um, but also just go around with a pry tool or your nail so you can see all the little latches there. All right, once you do that, the cover comes off pretty easily. Um, there's not many other screws on it. There'll be two more holding the motherboard. There'll be one right here under this fan and another screw under this fan. Um, other than that, there's one screw holding the DC jack, this piece in place. It's a little bit tough to remove, um, but I'll show you how to get that out. Then you got the SSD, usually it'll be here. Um, you might have a configuration with multiple, so you might have another one here or here. Um, these two are N support NVMe. This one is just a standard uh, M.2 SATA card, so make sure this one will support the one with two notches in it. This one supports the NVMe with just a single notch in the drive. So once you get that all out, you don't need to peel any of this stuff off. Um, but you got to remove all these connectors. So they hide some under here. So you want to remove the connector here. What I do is you just get as close to the connector as possible. And then you can actually grab it and just wiggle it. Just wobble it like that. And this will come out. Okay. Just pull it aside. There might be a little tape that sticks to the um, heat sink here. So when you're removing the, the motherboard, just know that if it's stuck, just check to make sure that that's not stuck to it. Same thing with this side, the LCD connector. So this one was for the, I believe the webcam. This one is for the LCD. So to remove that, there's a little latch here. So you wanna flip this black piece up, just like that. Once you get that, this will come out easily. Just pull it apart. And then there's tape. Usually when you pull the tape, try and get as close to it as possible because if you pull from here, you'll be bending the wire too much. So just do that. All right, this one will have a little tape stuck here. So when you're trying to pull this out, just know that so that way you can remove it just like that. Okay, the fans don't need to be removed. Uh, there's also the wireless card. Oh, I forgot to remove that screw. Let's see where I throw my screwdriver. Okay, so you want to remove that. Here. Get that out of the way. Move that screw. Oh, this might be tough with one hand. Let me do this. Okay. So I have to remove that one screw. Okay. Once you got that, there's also screws for the um, battery. Um, they'll actually be four screws, so one will be here, one in the center, one here, and then one here. The other side has some holes, but that, that's part of the casing, so you don't have to worry about removing those. Okay, so, yeah, so back to the wireless card. To remove that, you pull the back of it, the back of the antenna. Don't pull, like, from the front here. Just pull as close to the back as possible, and it should pop up. So, just like this. Grab the wire and it'll pop up, okay? Same thing with that one. Go as close to it as you can and just pull it up, all right? Once you get that, you can lift the wireless card up and then kind of slide it out. It's hard to do this in camera, but basically lift it up and then slide it out, okay? Same thing with these. There's actually a heat pad under here that makes it stuck to the, the case a little bit, so just lift it up. It'll be a little tough when you first remove it, and then just wiggle it out, so you'll see it has that. Okay. And remove the other SSD. Just get under the SSD. Oh, it's caught under the board. Okay. Same thing. Lift it up, wiggle it back, take it out. 
right? And you got all these connectors. So you got this to show the battery light. So you same thing with the other one. Lift that up, pull that back. You got the this is for the touchpad. Lift that up. That one's hard to do with the battery, so just leave that for now. And or if your fingers are grippy enough, you can do that. Then you got the keyboard connector, same thing, pull that one out. Alright, and you got this here as well. Um, I'll have to see when I take the battery out. So to take the battery out, what you do is after you take all the screws, you can lift from one side like this. Be gentle with it and then just move it a little bit back. That way you can actually grab the connector here. Kind of wiggle it just like that. Okay, and then that's how you get the battery out. There you go. And you got these connectors. This is for the speakers. So usually you just grip it with your nails or uh, pry tools and then just wiggle it back and forth just like that to remove it. You got this connector here. Flip that up, pull that back. This actually goes to the keyboard as well. So it actually has two connectors. All right. Then you got just this piece. So, oh, this other one as well. This is for the power button. So lift that one up and then remove this as well. Okay, so now that you got all of those disconnected, what you do is you start from here. You can actually lift here and you can lift it up. Once you get that going, you can actually lift more closer to the side and just lift the whole board, right? Cables will go underneath. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. This board's pretty big. So lift it up like this. The little metal piece will come out. If it doesn't, um, you can actually tilt it up because the way it latches in is this goes on top and these little pieces go into the, the frame of the thing. So what you want, it'll come up at an angle like this and then you can actually pull it away. Okay. So once you got all of that, you can actually lift the whole board. Make sure no cables get hooked on it when you're pulling it out. Otherwise, you might tear something. So just make sure and move them all out of the way. Again, this one, the tape is sticking on it. Okay. All right. Just lift it up. And now you can flip the whole board over. So as you can see on the bottom of this board, um, they have this connector here for the DC jack. It's pretty beefy to handle all the power going to it. And the battery connector. You got all the audio connectors, USB port, the LAN port, Ethernet, and you got some more USB ports, HDMI, and USB-C. You can see the fan connector here, the other fan connectors here. The only thing you can change on the bottom here is the RAM. So usually it'll come with one stick of RAM. To get like optimal speed, you'll want to get two sticks of RAM. So we replaced with another one. If you can, I would recommend getting one without this heat spreader because it makes it really hard to push this down. So one way around it is you can remove that heat spreader, but um, that I don't know if that'll avoid the warranty. They say warranty void if you remove this. They don't say anything about this side, but yeah. So if you want, you can try removing it, but the, the glue is pretty strong. So other than that, that's pretty much it. If you wanted to change like the thermal paste or something underneath, you'll have like the, I believe this is the memory for the video card and this is the, the actual GPU die and everything. And then you have the CPU here. So you can see all these screws here. Um, if you open it, just make sure you have a whole bunch of thermal paste. The heat spreading um, pads under here, you have to replace them with pads otherwise if you use thermal paste, it can like slide everywhere because the spacing is pretty thick. But that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Bye.